So here's a look at how I plugged holes from leaky through holes in my boat, the Playbait. Here's a look at some of my supplies. You might want a similar pile. Here you can see the live well overflow and the live well drain. Both have three inch wide holes bored through the transom in order to accommodate an inappropriate one inch fitting without a seacock. We're gonna change both those things. So here's a look at the two holes with the old fittings and hoses attached. They're plastic, they don't have seacocks. They weren't all the way through the hull, so they were bored out, leaving wood like this. The plan is to plug those holes. What I need to do first is get those fittings out. So using a hot soldering iron, I melted slots in the plastic heads of the old through holes, then simply broke them off and pulled the old through holes through. That's what's left. There's the old pathetic fittings. Here's a look at the transom of my boat. These through holes were all leaky. They were plastic breaking and installed entirely inappropriately. This one here has a hairdryer in it. I've been blowing the hairdryer through to dry the surface of the wood. Here's the other one. These two big ones are deck drains. The other two are live well drain and overflow drain. The big problem I had is that inside they were bored out three inches wide. In order to install one inch fittings, these three inch holes were obviously exposed to water and not healthy for the transom. Okay, so now I'm checking the wood to make sure it's dried up and feels good. And then I'm going to take a drill with a marker on it so I don't drill too far through. And I'm going to drill some holes above those holes inside the transom to check for wet shavings and to inject some penetrating CPES epoxy to help me harden up these holes in the wood. I will mix equal parts of CPES penetrating epoxy with a plastic syringe and then soak the wood with it. Here's a look at the three inch wood pucks that are going to go into the three inch board holes. I drilled them with this three inch drill thingy and soaked them in CPES penetrating epoxy. I stuffed the holes with wood shavings and epoxy, though it's irrelevant because I'll be drilling new holes for new fittings through the center of these anyway. Here's my plugs, but do you like my smiley face? Okay, so I took the two sized plugs you just saw me make and I filled these holes. There's three inch puck on the inside, one inch and one and a half inch on the outside. They were soaked in CPES, penetrating epoxy, and then Marine Tex epoxied into place. When this is dry, I will sand that flat and I will sand this as well. Then I'll add a layer of fiberglass mat and plug those test holes. The temperature was a little bit cold, so I put a small portable heater 
and laid it over the access hole to keep the bilge area warm and help the marine tex epoxy cure. Here's a look at the plugs once the marine tex has cured. It's nice and hard and solid. Here are the inside plugs. They cured really well. Now I'm going to use a Dremel and a wood block to sand those things down flat and level with the boat. Here's my Dremel. This piece is sticking out a bit, so I'm just using a sanding wheel to get it flush with the boat. After I'm done with this, I'll use a sanding block to get it nice and smooth. And there you have it. It looks a lot better in person than it does on film. This came out really well. If you were to close your eyes and rub your finger over this, you wouldn't feel this at all. This one here is about the same, except you can see a tiny little area where the marine text shrunk and left that little divot. That's going to be taken care of when I put the fitting in and drill the new hole for that fitting. Here's a look at the fiberglass mat over this first hole. And I'm about to do the fiberglass over this second hole. Alrighty, here I have some fiberglass resin and a couple of drops of hardener and I'm mixing it up with a regular cheap old paintbrush. Since I never know what to use and you may not either, I used 3M resin from Home Depot or Walmart. Now put on the brush and I'm brushing it on before putting the mat. Just a little layer of this stuff around the area before putting on the mat. Okay, here's a look at the fiberglass mat done on both holes. It's a few inches all around the hole and down flat on the bottom as well. So now the holes are completely covered in fiberglass mat and resin and I'm leaving them to cure. A tip when you put this stuff on is not to rub the brush on like paint, but dab it on with the brush and the fiberglass will go down really nice and uh, it'll work out just fine. Here's a look at the finished product. You have two hoses each double clamped to plastic through hulls. These are sealed with 3M 5200 adhesive sealant. Each has two clamps. I drilled the hulls, sanded them down a bit with a Dremel. Then I applied CPES penetrating epoxy to the wood. That helps to seal it, keep the moisture and water out. When I was done with that, I dry fit the plastic fitting to make sure it fits good. Then I put the 5200 and attach the fitting. To get the hose on more easily, use a dryer. A regular small hair dryer will make the hose soft. Double clamp it and you're good to go. Here's a look at the two fittings, which I then painted with black anti-fouling paint. They're secure and they look good. If you're more interested in cosmetics, wipe off the excess 5200 with marine spirits before you paint it.